Hello, this is Stock Market Investor Life, and we're reading The Economist, dated February 13th to 19th, 2021. So we have topics like the Great Inflation Debate, Is China Committing Genocide? A Special Report on the Future of Travel, Searching for Alien Life. But I think the most important and the headline would be, how well will vaccines work? As we go to the pandemic, it's very important to know about this. And so how well will vaccines work? Even miracles have their limits. Vaccines against the coronavirus have arrived sooner and work better than many people dared hope. Without them, the pandemic threatened to take more than 150 million lives. And yet, while the world rolls off a sleeve, it has become clear that the expecting vaccines to see of COVID-19 is mistaken. Instead, the disease will circulate for years and seems likely to become endemic. When COVID-19 first struck, governments were caught by surprise. Now they need to think ahead. In the report, so they have a briefing making vaccination work. And it says here that by February 6th, about 85% of the over 60s in Israel and 40% of the general population had received at least one dose of the Pfizer BioNTech mRNA vaccine, or in a few cases, the Moderna mRNA vaccine, and 75% of the over 60s had received their second dose too. In that age group, hospital admissions for COVID-19 were about two-thirds what they had been at their peak in January and still falling. At the same time, the country has a whole, as a whole was seeing its caseload rise. So even if there is a vaccine, there are still a lot of cases, as you may see here. So the downgraded or shrunk. Some vaccines that prevents disease, but not the infection. So after some time, so before these are the statistics, and after some time, the infection is still rising. And if they can develop a vaccine that prevents disease and infection, so before and then after, they said that Data from Israel suggests that the viral lo load in swabs from infected individuals is lower if they have been vaccinated. And clinical trials of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine suggest that the job may have infections as detected by PR or PCR tests. Such results suggest that COVID-19 vaccines are likely to reduce overall transmission of the virus. Again, as we go through the pandemic, um, it's very important for us also to do our own little ways of pre preventing or avoiding the transmission. And as a family, we disinfect our things. And in this video, we will show you samples of how we disinfect our Things. Since it's the pandemic and things from the outside might be contaminated with corona uh, with COVID-19, we use this Sunrock Scholar Safe to disinfect. So we got this from SM. It cost us around 79 pesos. This is 900 ml, which will usually last for one month. Now we also have Sunrocks Original. This is 250 ml, sodium hypochlorite, around 14 pesos. 
Now, what's the difference between Sonrox Original and Sonrox Color Safe? Now, we use the Sonrox Original for slippers and um, things that touch the surfaces like soil and outside world. This one is not good for food. It makes the leaves of vegetables dark and it's not so safe. Compared to Sunrock Safe, this one does not irritate the eyes, the nose, and it's, it smells better. This one it has an active ingredient of hydrogen peroxide. So to prepare our water for disinfection, we use one small pail and then we just squirt one, two, three, four, five. That's how we do it. Today we're going to wait for our fresh supply of blue containers containing our alkaline water. So every week we use about six blue containers of alkaline water. Later you will see that this will be covered with plastics so we will pour on those plastics, our disinfectants, and one by one, we will disinfect the containers outside. So this is how it looks like, our disinfectant with hydrogen peroxide sunrock solution. Um, the proportion is one liter to three tablespoons, but we just uh, estimate and later when the water comes the fresh containers of water we will pour it on the plastics covering the surfaces of the blue container so our water delivery arrived these are six blue containers of alkaline water we use mast um, alcohol and we pour over the plastics, the disinfectant solution that we made a while ago. So one papaya and then the other one, we put it in the same um, disinfectant solution using Sunrock's Color Safe. Ah, oh, this is heavy. So we put it in, this one is ripe papaya. So we also disinfect the blue containers. By the way, we made sure that our source has a certification, certification of its alkalinity and safety. So we just clean the outside. Using an old towel, pour in our hydrogen peroxide solution, and then we make sure that every surfaces are disinfected so we do this for all six alkaline water containers so this is about uh, 35 pesos for one blue container this will last a day or two and usually we have six containers for every week sometimes also use alcohol to disinfect this knob, although this is sealed, so it does not affect the alkaline water for drinking inside. So you just have to make sure everything is sealed and everything is dried, air dried or towel dried. That's it. Because it is essential to know the news now that we are in the pandemic, one of the companies that we bought is GMA Network Inc. We are shareholders of GMA Network Incorporation or GMA 7 by its ticker. And as you know, there are a lot of GMA brands. So GMA Network's key brands and corresponding markets are the following. We have GMA and GMA News TV. 
are free-to-air TV channels that broadcast that are broadcast throughout the Philippines. We have, they have also GMA Regional TV, Super Radio DZBB9 or 594KHZ, Barangay LS 97.1 DWLS FM, and also International Pay TV by GMA International covers 104 countries all over the world. We get our news basically from the GMA News Online. This is how we know about what's going on in the Philippines, particularly the cases and conditions regarding COVID-19 so that we will know and we will not be blind to what's going on. So let's visit GMA News Online. So this is GMA News Online, and here we have a COVID-19 latest updates and coronavirus pandemic news. As you can see here, there's a one-week delay in delivery of Pfizer vaccines. Won't affect rollout, says DOH. To give you an idea, we have around 110 million Filipinos and 50,000 were vaccinated in February. And here we can see a lot of news about what's going on in the Philippines and also in different countries. So gmanetwork.com is a part of the GMA7 stock which we invested on. So we can see here the figures about the latest statistics of COVID in the Philippines. So this is also how the internet works in the Philippines. And these are the latest news. So FDA's Domingo first batch of COVID vaccine definitely arriving in February. And virus expected to last long term despite global vaccine rollout. And we have as of February 11, 2021, 1,743 new cases of COVID-19 in the Philippines, total to over 543,000. So that's it. And we'll see you in the next video.